Hey, it's Carly Ray here, and welcome to my Hey, it's Carly Ray book club on YouTube. Today, I'm super excited because it is a special day on my channel. And what day is that? Well, da 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 da, it is Magic Day on my channel. So, what book am I going to be reviewing? Well, let the magic begin and let it appear. Abracadabra! The Witches of Vegas by Mark Rosendorf. Here is a close-up of this amazing novel. And yes, it has magic in it, and it has witches, and it has fantasy. All of my favorite things. Now, before we get started, and before I let the magic take us into this book review, you guys need to hit the subscribe button, and then hit the like to be alerted of all the new videos on my channel. So again, today, this is the book that we will be reviewing and I'm super excited. So let's get started in talking about The Witches of Vegas. Now, before we get started in today's book review, you guys need to know this is a spoiler free video. So if you guys have not read The Witches of Vegas, don't worry about it. I will not be giving anything away. Now, if you guys do have your copy of The Witches of Vegas, you guys can hit the pause button, go and grab it and then come back because we are gonna be talking about everything the Witches of Vegas. So, the first character that we meet in The Witches of Vegas is the amazing Isis. She is a 15-year-old girl who discovers she is a witch and gets adopted into this basically witch family, and they live in Vegas. And her dad, her adoptive dad, is called Sebastian, and he is training her to control her powers while posing as a magician on the Las Vegas Strip. I know, I thought that was super amazing. And Sebastian is also married to Selena, and they are more than Isis's mentors. They're basically her mom and dad, and they care for her, and they give her like break string training. They don't try to push her too hard. Is that a good thing? Is that a bad thing? You guys will have to read this book to find out. So Isis is preparing to go on the Las Vegas Strip because Sebastian and Selena have this hugely popular show on the Strip called The Witches of Vegas. Now little do people in the real world know they are not actually magicians. They are witches who are practicing their powers and they do that through their show by practicing all of their different magic, all of their different tricks they can do in order to keep their powers up without being condemned in the real world. Now Isis has the power to levitate above the ground so that's something she is trying out and she is super excited to be doing her first show as an official Witch of Vegas and it is during the show that she meets Zach Galloway. Now Zach Galloway is another main character in this novel. He's also 15 years old and his uncle Herb has a show on the Las Vegas trip as well called The Amazing Herb Galloway Show. Now we do get to learn that the Herb Galloway show is slowly going down in popularity because the Witches of Vegas are super popular. All their tricks are amazing. They don't charge a lot for tickets. And again, little does anybody know, they are actually witches. So this is why they don't have to pay for like all the equipment that magicians need during their shows. So Zach goes to this show to kind of like see, hey, what's up with this show? And that's how those two meet. Now they are supposed to be rivals because they are from different shows on the Vegas Strip. However, do they stay rivals? You guys will have to find out when you read your copy of this book. I will not be giving anything away. So we get to see during this book that there is another character called Val Air. Yeah, yes, I think I said that right. She is basically the antagonist. She is this like 400 year old witch vampire who is coming back with fierce force and she wants to destroy the witches because she basically wants to like take over everything she wants witches to rule the world now and that means like taking away basically like humanity as well so we have the witches that are basically after she shows up they are having to kind of fight against what she's trying to do in the world. While meanwhile, this Val area decides to kidnap Isis. So that kind of throws a whole twist in this novel. We get to see what Isis is really made of because during her training, we do see that the her parents, Sebastian and Selena, they do go easy on her, but she is a super powerful witch. So that's something that she's going to have to decide for herself if she is able to 
basically overcome her past to show how strong she is and protect her family. So that was something that I really enjoyed in this novel. Um, again, Zach Galloway, he is another main character, and he is not a witch. He is human. And we get to see how strong, basically, if you, like, let a human that he is, how strong he is, and does he let the witches and their powers get in the way of his true power? You guys will again have to watch, read The Witches of Vegas to find out. Now, throughout all of this, um, the witches and their show, um, we get to see a backstory of Valeria um, with Luther. Now, Luther is basically the witches' mentor. He is a vampire as well, also like 400 years old. And he is, he's basically taught the witches like stuff they need to know. So we get to see his backstory as well, which I really found awesome because this book wasn't just about witches or magic. It also brought in vampires, which I thought was super awesome. Um, the way that the author Mark, the way he was able to like interweave that through the story and basically change up how vampires are written, I thought was awesome. It was something I really, really, really enjoyed in this novel. Something else I really enjoyed in this novel was how great each character was written. They were super well-rounded and they each had their own personality. Like Isis was younger and she was written with this like adolescent innocence, but you could also feel everything she kind of struggled with and went through when she was learning that she was a witch and the different things that she had to go through. But one thing I really loved about her is she like never lost caring for others no matter what, which I really, really enjoyed seeing that in a character. Um, I also enjoyed, if you guys read my review on HeyIt'sCarlyRae.com, the character of Luther. He is the 400-year-old vampire. The reason I loved him is because he had this, like, dry personality, but I really loved, like, seeing what made him him. Um, and then the ending, how this book was left with Luther, I thought that was, like, really great. Um, but again, won't be giving anything away. You guys will have to read this novel to find out. Um, another character some of you guys were messaging me about was Zach. I did also enjoy Zach because he was another character who had to go through a lot. He lost his parents. And so seeing him like stand on his own and I really enjoyed the fact that he like wasn't swayed that Isis was a witch or like swayed with the unknown. He kind of, um rose to the occasion in a way that I thought was really awesome. I thought he was written in a great way. Um, another character that I unexpectedly really enjoyed was Sasha. She was Selena's younger sister and she had such a great personality. She was like an aunt in it and she was like this fun aunt. So I really enjoyed her as well. Um, yeah, so that kind of overall is the cast. Sebastian and Selena were great, um, like mother father figures in this book. They were fun and I just loved seeing all of their magic. Um, now one thing I really did enjoy in the story was overall the magic written in it. I'm not a mu I'm not like a magician but the way it was written I super enjoyed it. it made me like want to go to Vegas and see a magic show um, because it was something that I really enjoyed. It was interwoven in the plot line such in a great way that even if you're not familiar with anything magic, you can definitely read this book and relate to it. I was able to read The Witches of Vegas in a day because I enjoyed the plot so much. And even when I put it down, just to like take a break from reading, I was thinking about it. Um, but overall, the it's basically about Isis and her stepping into her own as being a witch and having to struggle with the antagonist of Val Area and dealing with all of that and basically saving the world, which was essentially, you guys will have to read this book to see if they accomplished that in this book. But I will say watching them go through that journey was something I really enjoyed. So I definitely recommend checking out this book. I give this book a five out of five star because it was amazing. I enjoyed the characters, the plot, the setting, how everything was written. And again, it made me want to go to Vegas. So that is how I knew that I loved this book. So without further ado, we are going to move on to today's Q&A session of today's video. I put this up on my social media and a ton of you guys messaged me asking me questions regarding this book because you have not heard of it and you were super excited to hear that there was a witch magician book out there. I was super excited when I heard of it too. So without further ado, we are going to abracadabra the questions 
today. First question that we will be answering on my channel is da 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 da. Camille from Instagram, you said on a scale of 1 to 10, how good was the fantasy? It was amazing because it interwove reality with magic in such an easy way that while you were reading, you could actually feel like this could happen in real life, which is something I really love in YA fantasy novels. I love when you can actually like picture the magic happening in the real world. And that's something that Mark did in this book that was super amazing. It was at ease and I just really, really, really enjoyed it. So overall on a scale of one to 10, I say it's a 10 on how great the magic and how great the fantasy was in this novel. Second question in today's video is abracadabra, Tyler from Twitter. Hey Tyler. You said, who was your favorite character? My favorite character had to be Luther. I really, really, really enjoyed him just because he was such a unique character. I haven't read a character like him before in a novel. I enjoyed reading about his backstory. I enjoyed reading kind of what made him him. And I just loved his like personality throughout it. And I loved what he did at the end. Again, I will not be giving anything away in this video, but he is my favorite character. I truly did enjoy it. If you guys have read this novel and you guys have a favorite character, be sure to comment below and let me know which character was your favorite. Next question in today's video is da 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 Luke from Facebook, you said, how good were the descriptions? Do you feel a part of the story? Yes, I definitely felt like I was part of the story in The Witches of Vegas. This was one reason why I had such an easy time reading this book is because how it was written, it was just amazing. And it made me feel like, again, the descriptions really pulled me in. So it made me even feel like I was in Vegas. And I've never been to Vegas before. But like reading about like even the strip, their shows, like the hotels of like the Felicity, it made me feel like I was there. And that's another huge reason why I recommend checking out this novel is because it really pulls you into the story and it makes you feel part of the magic. So that's something I really enjoyed in this novel. Next up is... Mia from Twitter, you said, is there a sequel? Okay, yes, I got an email from the author and he said he is writing a sequel. I'm super excited to read it. I cannot wait. I can't wait to read about these characters again. I really, really enjoyed it and I was super excited to hear that there would be book two because I will be getting it and reading it. Next up is Erica from Instagram. Hey, Erica, you said, do you have to be familiar with magicians or magic shows to read this novel? No, I've never been really to like a magic show and I'm not a magician, no matter if you guys see the props or not. Um, but no, you don't have to be familiar with anything, how it was written. Like it was so awesome to read all the tricks, like what they did. Um, just like reading about like the different props. It's something like I never even thought like the cost that goes in to like what magicians have to like purchase for their shows and like what it entails. I thought was like really, really like I loved reading that. And I haven't read something like that again in the YA fantasy novels. So I really enjoyed that in this story. And today's final question is Robin from Facebook. You said, what sets this YA fantasy novel apart? Um, this was set apart because not only was the story unique, but the characters were unique. They were written in such a way that again, like Isis and Zach, they were only 15, but the way they were written, they still had like their like young innocence in this book. And then the way the magic was written, I've never read a book where it incorporated magic with magic shows. So that was something that I really enjoyed. And then another thing I really enjoyed overall was the, again, like a family dynamic. Um, again, we had the aunt, we had like Sebastian and Selena. And then essentially like Luther in it, I kind of like felt him as like this like uncle character in it. So that's what set this YA fantasy novel apart was overall basically like everything in it. But for me, mainly what set it apart was the story and how unique it was written. Um, so that's something I really, really, really enjoyed. Now, if you guys have other questions, you guys can comment below and I will be sure to message you guys back any questions that you have on Witches of Vegas. So that concludes today's virtual book review of The Witches of Vegas by Mark Rosendorf. I'm super excited to share this video on my channel because I'm just super passionate about this book and how original the storyline is. 
Now, to find out more about The Witches of Vegas and to read my virtual review, you guys can go to heyitscarlyray.com. Now, if you guys do not follow me on social media, I'm about to give you all of my handles so you guys can go and follow me. First up, we have Instagram, and if you guys don't follow me, you guys can go to Hey It's Carly Ray. I am also on Twitter at Hey It's Carly Ray One. I'm also on Tumblr at Hey It's Carly Ray. You guys can also go to Facebook, Hey It's Carly Ray, and then I also have a Facebook group called Hey It's Carly Ray Book Club. You guys can also go to Pinterest. Hey, it's Carly Ray. That concludes today's virtual book review, and I'm super excited that you guys tuned in to watch today's book review. I cannot wait to hear what you guys have to say. Definitely comment below and let me know. And again, do not forget to subscribe to my channel. I hope you guys have an awesome day and enjoy today's amazing magic review.